Sounds pretty good to me. I mean, if anyone's curious why we're just racing up to Kefka and Arsh instead of the full game, it's because this is a 90-minute race instead of a 4-5 to five mm. hour one, and it's also a lot more accessible to uh, for newer players to pick up to specifically join the tournament. Yeah, definitely. We've got um, like we've we've got players of many skill levels who have entered and like kind of parts in their streaming kind of quote unquote career. Had a lot of people who have never played um, played any kind of uh, done any kind of speed run at all, let alone FF6. And so and, and those people have now have gone on to. Um, to do more streaming themselves, um, others have, uh, I, I don't know how many have got actually gone on to doing, um, like, full Kefka at Nash runs, uh, sorry, uh, full FF6 runs. I know Corona Kirby now does any percent. But there'll be a couple here and there who have moved on. Looks like we've started. Alright, good luck, gentlemen. Yes, good luck. Hopefully this race doesn't get kicked off with a slime or something like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like my last race, dude. Unless both get slimed. That'd be pretty epic. Yeah. Since we That's probably have some people watching that haven't seen this run before, courtesy of the raid. We used to kick off by saying that they lowered the battle speed all the way down to 6, because uh, battle speed in this game only applies to enemies, not to your characters, so... Uh, almost all of the uh, run they do on the slowest possible battle speed, just to minimize the number of turns that enemies get. And then for these first battles in the Magitek armor, they're getting Biggs and Wedge to run away so that Terra gains more experience points. But for two of them, there's enemies in the battle that are considered boss-type enemies, and those have to die before... Uh, Anyone can run. In this fight, it's the Lobo, and then in the next one after, it's the Evo Mammoths. Look at these synchronized battles. Isn't this just beautiful? In each group we had, it was roughly five on each group, which is ten matches a group. Um, some had four. So in um, in the group stages, we probably had about 150 matches, and now we've had we've had 30 matches so far in the um, in the group stages, but 32 actually. So had 182 Kefka at Nash matches in the last couple of months. And it all comes down to this. It's, and it all uh, comes down to Gao. It all comes down to the trench. To the gold bears. <laughs> to the slimes. To the Sabin ATB on Kafka. Mm hmm. <laughs> it comes down to, to a lot the of pincers. things. For those that weren't here earlier, we, um,. We had a little video we played at the start of the stream, which had all the uh, all the things that can go wrong in the Kefka at Nash race, and there's some some really interesting moments in there. All right, boys, I'm back. I see we're Yo. entering the fight at the exact same time. Very good. Except one guy gets slime, so he's screwed now. That will lose in like 20 seconds, possibly. We'll see if he knows the backup. Doesn't look like it. That's unfortunate. Good stream, everybody. Well, oh, congrats, Lynn. We knew you could do it. Three, indeed. So, Lynn having uh, 
Vix attach, attack the shell as part of setting up a glitch to cancel out uh, the head disappearing into the shell and killing Wilk roughly 20 seconds faster. Double grew, oh man. Oh my days. Not good. I think this happened to me in my uh, race against Straverus in the last 32. I had like, um, one of the soldiers didn't run away in the first battle because I suck at running. And then got double grewed and basically stayed about a minute 10 behind for the whole race until dying at to a pincer attack in lock scenario. Sounds like a great run, man. <laughs> oh, it was, it was glorious. Every time, well, every time the game hinted at a comeback, I'd do something really stupid and lose time. So there is a very specific backup if you get slimed in the Welk fight that you kind of have to practice. And no one's really practiced because we just hope we don't get slimed. But yeah, you can manually time a fire beam on the shell to make it not go in its shell and get more tech missiles off. Which... Won't necessarily completely avoid a Gru, but it's definitely going to avoid two of them. But you have to be on top of things with your timing. Yeah. The other thing too is that I mean, in a, in a like a full game run, that's not a race. If you get Terra Slime, that would generally just be an instant reset instead of going to backup strats. Yeah, it would be. And the reason why the existing strat is so consistent is because there's relative timing that you just set up by looking at turn orders. So you don't really have to think about it too much. But if Terra gets slimed, it kind of throws you off. Yeah, because even though that, what we call the counter-cancel glitch, it gets set up with fire beam and the shell does uh, kind of block out Welk's AI, it will wear off, and, it w and it'll happen quickly enough that you won't be able to one-cycle it if uh, Terra is slimed and you don't know the backup order. Well, Lin already appears to be tilting because he used the fight command on the first fight. And when Terra is by herself in the mines here, they're going to fight a couple battles to get have her gain an extra level because your uh, when new characters join you in All this right. game, their level is based on your average party level. So leveling up Terra a little bit here will uh, pay off dividends in the long run. With other characters. It ain't over yet. So apparently, <laughs> Lynn is the game's losing trying a lot of time. to. Um, <laughs> game's <laughs> trying to give Chrono a little bit of a comeback, but it's very important for Chrono to keep his head and just keep executing the way he has been for the tournament. Things will happen at the end of the run. There's a lot of uh, a lot of points in the run where the game can do good things for you or troll you a lot, so we'll, we'll be seeing what happens. And b before getting to the end here, they do have to burn some steps to force an extra battle to finish level 6 off.
So despite all the craziness of Welk, he's still only 15 seconds behind. Oh, no. next, to the, next to that pincer. Yeah, there was a pincer attack and the first fight Lin fought instead of using magic, so it to take two turns to finish it off. Mm. Uh, caught up to a little bit. Yeah, it is a big catch up. And it, it essentially means, like, for example, Lin. If Lin now gets second try Gao, um, Chrono Kirby's virtually caught up. Just those little things, the little RNG things that kind of add up over time, that you have a chance to uh, still stay in the lead afterwards. But both players will be nervous. The big occasion. Grand final of a tournament. But both of these, um, both of these players have uh, earned themselves a trophy. The top three runners of the tournament will win uh, win trophies, similar to the ones um, from FF4. We didn't say so earlier when they're shortening the characters' names to one letter just to speed up the game drawing out text boxes. I believe it draws uh, one or two characters per frame, so uh, do the math from there on how many frames uh, shortening the names save. Yeah, it definitely adds up over time. They're not going to be doing it for Shadow, though, just because Shadow's name doesn't get used enough times in cutscenes to be worth it in this category, at least. In a full game run, you would not shorten Mog or Gogo -Go as well, just because of how late in the game they come. Dance here with the uh, Wolfman. Walk right by them, they, they're friendly. Yeah, Cuckoo Net. Which isn't a big deal, really. You lose a little bit of time, but it's very minimal. The main person that you want to not be netted is Mog, because they do the most damage, and they have a Mithra Pike need to take off them. Yeah, Koopan and... getting uh, netted too would also kind of be good. Yeah, that's true as well. I think both of them get Cuckoo Net. Not cuckoo. <laughs> You saw at the beginning of the, of the battle they were running away. That's just to make a text box appear on the screen, which says can't run, which actually delays the marshal's first turn a little bit. And that's mainly used just to set up your relative turn order to get two turns with Ma before uh, Marshall gets the second one. Once again, I see Chrono Kirby passing on taking Mog's Mithril Shield, which is, I mean, you don't need that, but it gives you a little bit of safety, and especially on the Phantom Train, and then also for the, uh, the, the final Kefka battle. I can't fault the guy for going for it all. Especially after the slime.
And you know, if you actually get into a fight with a wolf man accidentally, you can use a dance. And it does work sometimes. But when it does work, it's really good. Yeah, I mean, if you have the uh, have other Moogles kill the Lobos and then have Mog dance, you have a, I believe a five out of sixteen chance to one shot the Marshal with snare. Results in turning that frown and missing the guard skip upside down. So they get a bit of payoff from the manipulation they were doing with the resets before starting here too, and that the both of the fights they get on the way to Figaro are uh, single leafers, which are uh, very easy to run away from. Uh, ADD Gamer, yes. This uh, step routing can all be done on emulator. Absolutely. Uh, probably. Not sure about Lean. I know Chrono Kirby is. I want to say Lin's on emulator also. I could have sworn I saw the SNES 9X reset last race. Everyone's messing up naming. I love it. <laughs> well, maybe Corona did it on on uh, purpose. The classic E Bannon. No, he didn't have the only one star, though. So yeah, this tournament was designed um, similarly to the FF4 one that we had previously, where we we're basically just running up to about a third of the game, and it helps helps generate interest in uh, in our Final Fantasy games that we love. So we hope to be doing it in the future. We're not really sure when our next tournament will be, but they'll uh, definitely happen in the future. It's generated enough interest to uh, warrant doing it again, definitely. Looks like Lin got the uh, soldiers to face each other as well. The talking of the things. It's Chrono something Kirby we do mystic. for idle amusement <laughs> during this uh, cutscene here. If you're good, if yeah. uh, 
If you're either good enough masher or uh, skilled at uh, buffering inputs, you can talk to the second soldier and then Kafka the next frame after the previous tech spot closes and then that results in the soldiers having a steering contest instead of facing up again. I have a crazy surprise for chat. Turns out that Mog is in fact a dancer. <laughs> oh, my mogul. Maybe he's a dancing GM answer. Could be. Geodancer, nice. Emote combo. <laughs> Not sure how fast Lin's mashing skills are, but Chrono goes pretty mental with his mashing. I've heard it on his stream. So I wouldn't be surprised if the lead slowly diminishes because of that. It was 13 seconds before going into Figaro. So if it's reduced, then yeah, could be that all the naming. Looks like it's about nine seconds now. Oh yeah, Roth, you got up at like 2 a.m. your time, didn't you? To do this? Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. Fun times. <laughs> it's currently 7.30. The magic no tech fight here is pretty simple. They just crossbow twice, but since they don't have anything else to do while waiting for Edgar's second turn, they make a steal attempt with Locke, or they can. Go for a <laughs> potion or tonic. I'm sure that Roth's gauntlet run pretty much trained them to never sleep. Yeah. <laughs> We've made it this far. We can last another hour. Props to Big for uh, finishing that gauntlet on like one hour sleep. What a, what a good day. <laughs> I've heard tales about Curry. Any oh, tales indeed. Glorious. I guess Corona just likes going for the early fight, for whatever reason. That's really early, actually. 
Yeah, it's just how he does his steps. As long as it doesn't mess up his threat too much for after... Uh, no, it. it literally fixes itself on the next fight right here. And it's fixed. The only problem is that if Terra dies in the Magitek fight, uh, you're out of luck. I mean, is du double uh, tech laser and Terra generally a, a death then, or do you have to also yeah. get high to high rolls or something? Double tech laser usually kills her, yeah. But they both have to do the move and target Terra, so... Still unlikely, but if it happens, you lose experience and we'll have to fight the Trilliums. Yeah, because for these next two dungeons, the Cave of Figaro and Mount Colts, they want to finish with their average party level at 9. Which, which they'll get if they fight most of the encounters they get. is a number that they can just run from. Boy, they're right there, right next to each other, practically yeah. on. They sure are. Either of them got NPC trolled and so figure out. Yes, picking up the greatest, greatest accessory in this game for speedrunning, sprint shoes. Sprint shoes are great. Along with back rowing their party to have the amount of physical damage they take. It have the amount that your regular attacks do, but they aren't going to be using regular attacks for very many fights in the rest of the race. Yeah, all the special abilities in this game ignore what row you're in, so like blitz tools, magic, all that stuff. Though being in the back row most of the time is be a lot better. Speaking of magic too, there's a special cutscene that you can get if Terra casts a spell either during the Magitek fight or in the Cave of Figaro. So they avoided doing that to dodge that cutscene, but once they've exited the Cave of Figaro, that goes away, so they can safely use fire in uh, the fights on Malkolts. Actually, like, I mean, you wouldn't really want to use it anyway, since autocross but kills everything, so... And if anything survives it in the cave, they'll have, like, 10 HP or less and will die to a physical. They're neck and neck, though. The side attack puts Chrono ahead. Something they're going to try to do during one of these larger enemy fights, too, is have Locke run away just because. He doesn't need as much experience as the other two to get to the next level, so having him run away to give more to Edgar and Terra lets you f fight one fewer encounter on the mountain. This is, uh... Oh, wow. Pretty... pretty even, huh? <laughs> Intense. Oh, they, both get they both get synced preemptives too. Uh, the fact that Lynn did not heal Terra is actually a big deal. Back attack like this. Mm. Ooh, yes. Back in general, you want her at least above 60. <laughs> okay, he lucked out. That if the Tusker had attacked her, it might have been able to kill her. And he's still not healing. Although, well, then again, uh, it's pretty much all Trilliums from this point on. Yeah! <laughs> So Evan raises a point, maybe he's going for Riot Blade strats on Vargas. <laughs> nice.
just has to uh has to evade all the uh, gale cuts in the world. I think Chrono might have not opted to run away with Block in a 4-pack, maybe? I think he had to fight one extra. I could be wrong. Vargas here is untargetable until uh, um, both of the bearers are dead, and then you have to do 720 damage to him in order to get Seven to appear. What they're Pretty... trying to look for is the turn order, because if Vargas gets an early or late attack, it can change how Doomfist behaves. Because the turn carries over to the next cutscene with Saban, so if he gets a really early turn, he can get a second attack in, then he'll have to wait to do Doomfist. Or, if it's kind of the opposite, uh, he'll get an early, like a really early Doomfist, and then you'll be able to have it, all the animations, all the text and everything play out, and then by the time you get your turn and get the pummel off, it'll already be done. So it kind of depends on that. Pretty, I mean, it's not a very big difference either way, too. Or for the swag to get Doomfisk up. Tell me if there's a walking section on the world map that might look a little funny if you're not uh, familiar with it. The tiles in the world of balance have some special properties. So there's certain tiles in the world map that actually have no encounters. So you'll see them kind of zigzagging through some spots and walking in certain tiles. That way it won't advance their step counter or their threat value for uh, encounters. We'll avoid one, pretty much. Definitely a bizarre property. Yeah, it's only the World of Balance, it's only those specific tiles outside of the Velt. Because the Velt actually has the same kind of tile, but it still gives you encounters. And in terms of this race category, the main differences are that you skip all the treasures in their Turner's hideout. Uh, you skip Celis entirely in Lock Scenario. 
And you don't sell anything because you're not going to be buying much. Buying smoke bombs. And in the sketch route, you actually do skip cells as well. But in the no sketch one, you actually have to name her longer. Yeah, you name her, but then just kind of leave, and she figures out her own way to escape from prison. Yeah, she gets bored waiting for someone to save her. Oh, nice spoiler. That's where the execution comes in. It's just so important to stay executing regardless of RNG. It's so easy to get on tilt, start thinking about your mistakes, but you just have to think ahead and focus and let the game sort itself out. Man, I wish there was a trash can in FF6. <laughs> it could probably sketch one into existence, I'm sure. Pretty sure anything is possible with this game if you put your mind to it. Just sketch in zero miss. Yeah, you could do that. I know what to do with. I'm sure my good friend Taskbot can. So Return of Silence is kind of soft lock central. You can get a soft lock on entering the place because an NPC will walk between you and another dude. Block your path and you can't do anything and it just kind of stops. Uh, the cutscene that we're in can also soft lock randomly sometimes. Not very often, <laughs> but it nice. can. Also, battles on the river can also not end. Just block your game. Also never happens, but it's happened a couple times. Not 100% sure, but I think Chrono might have messed up. Might get one extra encounter. He did not reset for a second time. Uh, no, I think it's just the NPC movement thing. Oh, isn't he got like 27 instead of 25? Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm probably wrong. Cause that's actually fairly lenient. It looks like you might have messed up, but you really didn't. Yeah, I'm like never confident when I do it and it works out 100% of the time. But yeah, they manipulate the river so that any additional encounters that are optional, like the game kind of randomly decides whether you get them or not, there's seven of them. And by doing the reset and reload shenanigans they just did, and watching an NPC move around, it sets up the RNG. You don't get any extra battles. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, he got it. No problem. Will we see the right blade? Of course. Is the question. I know my man Lin was saving his right blade for this one. <laughs> It was getting in early with getting Terra down the crit. I like to think they're riding on a chocolate bar. Both of them entered the fight with Terra not fully healed, didn't they? So Terra's likely to just die and not get attacks at all. Right, if she gets hit uh, on the opening attack or against any encounters, she'll probably die. Alright. Not a big deal. It's not worth going into her menu and healing her. The off chance to get Riot Blade. Better just to let her die. Her actual damage she does with the fight doesn't actually matter. It's the swag! So, same in scenario, everything can get turned around pretty quickly. <laughs> Mainly the Phantom Forest Train and Velt and Serpent Trench. Pretty much the whole scenario, really. Have everything yeah. <laughs> control you or make you lose time or make you gain time. FF6's scenario. The walking. Nah, he's fine. Before they walk into that forest too, they're forcing an encounter so that it's a single decor instead of a uh, cat trio. Well, enemies are easier to run from and can't be pincer attacks. It looks like uh, Chrono's about 30 something seconds ahead. right A lot of stuff happens in this segment. It's so easy to lose time here and there, like little bits. So even many... just even just little stuff like walking into walls because of uh, being concerned about wasting steps and getting off the manipulation route can add up too. Yeah, it's so easy to let, like lose like 15 seconds in the Imperial camp and 15 to 30 in the 
in the uh, Phantom Forest, Lightning Train. If you're bad, which I am, Kappa. But these these runners won't do that. I've, I've noticed Lin's been bonking walls a, a little bit, actually. Mm, yeah, I've noticed that a little bit too. Some days you're good at walking, some days you're not. Yeah. For, the, for this leader fight, the fastest way to uh, to win is to use Cyan's to turn up the battle speed to one, and then use Cyan's retort skill, which is a counter attack, even with having to go into the menu to change the battle speed. It still ends up being faster than using two dispatches. Because you already have to go in the menu anyway to equip the sprint shoes. And can boogie his way through the castle in this, in this part. Our boy Kefka. Gotta hit him twice. Why? Run away. Because we can't run or use smoke bombs or warp stones to get out of the fight. And coincidentally, he is part of the party. So, your paradox where you can't run from yourself, I guess, maybe? And because of that, the battle speed actually doesn't affect Kefka, so you can keep it at one higher setting. Then you can delay switching it to 6 till after the fact because then you can also heal in the same menu. So rather than doing 2, you can just do 1 menu. All these little time saves. Magical. Chrono getting all the counters, man. This is Lin's time to shine. When you're like me and you've played FF6 Randomizer, you have tried smoke bombs on this fight. <laughs> <laughs> and there is one warp stone available in South Figaro that you can get, but it's way out of the way, so... I don't know if we called much attention to it in the previous races, but before the Templar fight, they're actually stealing um, Shadow's ninja gear armor and giving it to Sabin to... Uh... Mostly to boost his speed, but also give him a bit more defense for run. Yeah, surprisingly, plus two speed actually helps a lot. Because it allows you to get the better burn setup for Kefka and Arsh. And it ends up helping a lot of other boss fights in the full run as well. Kirby with that fast uh, walk down the stairs. Oh yeah, that's a minor thing you can do as well. Whenever you actually load a screen while standing on stairs, you actually walk slower down the stairs for whatever reason. So, rather than holding left or right to go down the stairs, you can hold up or down. 
then if you time it in such a way where you start the screen uh, holding up or down, then immediately go down the stairs, uh, you'll walk at full speed. The problem with doing that is that you have to time it really well to actually save time. Because uh, in this game, every time you enter a screen, there's a fade in where you can't really see your character. So if you hold up and then go left too early, you'll just walk slowly anyways. Whereas if you try and confirm that you're actually up or down, you'll actually waste time. So not something you really have to worry about that much. And for the fights with Cyan, uh, we ideally want him to just regular attacks. It's way faster. Yeah, because Cyan's AI controlled here, and you can either attack or use Dispatch. And dispatch has a slower animation. He also is able to counter attack, too. He's gonna have to hope you get some potions too. I'm not sure where they're dropped in this run, but he's just run out. Maybe we should request one of the racers to do Demon Chocobo, just so we can show it off. <laughs> I'd be down for that. Like right now? Yeah, <laughs> do it right now. Get Corona Kirby to do it, so Link can catch him. I mean, if he's a good sport, he'll do it, you know? Of course he will. Well, yeah. Get the other one to set all their colors to white. That doesn't work quite as well in this game because there's a gradient to the menu. Ah, but so I think FF4 and 5 that works pretty well. Yeah, 4 was fun.
Yeah, so now we're starting to get into the time-wasting territory. For the later screens of the forest is when we start getting packs of three ghosts. For the most side, we actually get a pincer attack. It doesn't waste that much time, just to potion the one on the right and then run away. Especially, especially for this Black race hat. too, you should uh, get enough potion drops from the camp fights to be able to do any healing you need to, plus uh, get out of undead pincers. But, uh, help Lin a bit. Well, the train, they want to be very careful with their movement because they have to be on steps to really make full use of the, the route. Because if you take too many extra steps, you get extra encounter. You get an extra encounter before the waterfall. Waste time. Plus, the Velg encounters are different, so you have to spend more time killing them in order to get Gal. So, what that means is if ghosts get in your way, uh, you kind of have to wait for them. Really, just do whatever they want. Pretty good ghost for Lin. This Chrono got in the first car. <laughs> like Franker Z is out. Blood. <laughs> What are the odds of the interceptor blocking the attack? I actually forget, but I want to say it's like 30-40%. Kirby's having a pretty bad time with the triple ghosts. Exact damage to Shadow. That, <laughs> that one fight shortened uh, Chrono Kirby's lead by quite a bit. Yeah, it did, for sure. Yeah, Shadow's uh, blocking, uh, magic block is actually much higher than his stats screen shows because of Interceptor. So, uh, if you actually equip a shield, it'll randomly decide on, the, on Interceptor or the shield to do the block animation. So, to prevent the counterattacks on the train, you actually want to equip Shadow with the shield. Try and prevent some of that stuff from happening. As you can see, the ghost is not, not having any of it on Chrono's side. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, once they're past the uh, ghost car, there's no free steps at all. I mean, they just have to wait it out for whatever the ghosts well, do. We can actually take one extra step in there, get around oh, the ghost. <laughs> but... <laughs> That's probably the worst ghost troll I've seen yet. Yeah, that ghost... Wanted it. It then had better do some healing here. 
As clutch as um, Oxido's victory over the train was with Solo 7 after getting after pummeling himself uh, for the Nazi CA repeat. So staying on the manipulation route saves a lot of time at this part of the Phantom Trains because they get a lot of single bombs. Which, even though they're dangerous, they're also the easiest possible fight to run from here. As opposed to like, quad uh, whispers or whisper hazers, which uh, are slower to run from and also have attacks with slow animations. Well, it looks like Lin's pulling ahead. About a second apart now, from what I can see. Wow. Yeah, they're pretty much right on each other. But, yeah, the biggest bit of RNG in the entire uh, race route is coming up in the form of uh, the hunt for Gao. But before that, we have cutscene, and we have a fight with Brazipus. Which we'll see Cyan shine by dying, and then being revived. Sets up a glitch uh, for Retort, so... The fight we're going to see is going to be timed out to about a minute, where we have to wait the fight for the boss to show up. And while you're waiting for that, you can set up the glitch to do a Psycho Cyan, Super Saiyan, Cyan, whatever you want to call him, Super Cyan. Uh, so whenever you kill him, revive him, and then set Retort, any action that's not magic pretty much will set it off, attack the enemy. So the way it's going to be working here is that you're going to do a Pummel, and that will trigger the Retort on Rhizopus, and then it will kill him. And as a result of doing it in that particular fashion, the boss animation for dying will actually be skipped. Normally it does a large flash and then it slowly fades away, but doing it this way will skip that and save you about 10 seconds. That's literally how long a boss death animation takes time. So they'll set their battle speed to active. This menu right here is free time. There's actually a timed sequence here wait around doing nothing so during that you can menu and it still eats away your time yeah the game will away. not kick you out of the menu when it runs out though so if you take too long you will actually start losing time yeah exactly This is ridiculous. After 182 or so matches, we've come down to like neck and neck. <laughs> so what we're looking Just at here is sink, frame, those for frame. Sink jumps. <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah, this is the grand final, Tristan. Uh-oh, did I see what I think I saw? No, never mind. 30 FPS tricked my eyes. Thought he used the Phoenix down on himself. Yeah, this finale is insane. Oh, I'm 
really ready for these gals, man. All comes down to go, and the Serpent Trench, and Kafka, and the <laughs> And Lock. But go, yeah, go is the biggest single source of RNG in this category. And the dot done skills. True. Maybe, uh, Lin here will win by one second because he's in America. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have another one of those. This is what we want to see. We want to see neck and neck to the end. Yeah. 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 Hey. What do you get if you win? You get a slightly larger trophy than the person who lost. And it's a slightly different color. Is Red it a present ball. trophy? It is. Yes. Nice. Even the man, the statue, following with the perfect technique. Awesome. Now I'm sad I didn't win. And yeah, this fight is actually predetermined uh, to be a pincer. All part of the plan. A uh, big cricket, yes. Um, except for Shadow, everyone's renamed. Unless you're Lin, and then Sa. There's an actual tie that we cannot tell the difference between. I don't know. It was sudden death. We'll make them race. Uh... I'll have to race again. Make them keep going and do a sketch percent race. Yeah, just keep going. <laughs> going until you fight Bowser. Sketch left. too. Nice. Can be settled on the battlefield of Waldo. <laughs> Yay! We got Lin with Gal, but Karo didn't get Gal. All oh, my days. So, oh. oh. Chrono has one more chance for a quick gal. There's a f single bomb fight coming up. So if he can kill this quickly, then he's still in there. But he didn't heal Sabin, so if he actually got blazed, that would have been really bad. Luckily, yeah, because I can attest off. too. I mean, that's what ended my last uh, race was Sabin right. getting blazed during the gal hunt. They're still right with each other. Yep. So Lin's a bit ahead now because he got the earlier gal. Not a ton, but... It's probably like 10 seconds now, I guess. 15. It's the foul! Odds of getting Gao were 5 out of 8, by the way, although Gao... Gal won't appear if the battle was a uh, pincer or back attack, and, and if either Sabin or Cyan was dead at the end of the fight. Just kind of the game's way of protecting the cutscene from having weird stuff happen. So I guess the Serpent Trench and River. The any factor. And maybe lock scenario, but probably not. Bear hug anybody?
<laughs> Chrono Kirby did say that he would do the guard clip at Narsh if uh, he has to. <laughs> well, Godspeed to him then. Oh, baby. I'm quite familiar with the, the cost of failure, but how much time does that actually save if you get it? I think it's like 8 seconds. 100% worth it. <laughs> Uh, might be a problem with the audio. Or beers. Oh, okay. It's that typical mumble freak out. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. Familiar with this? I didn't hear it though. That's weird. Really? That is correct. But I didn't brush the mic. How can this be? Mumble's a good program. I guess so. <laughs> Jeez, <laughs> that back attack kind of wow. evened it. Two seconds. This is crazy. The game knows, it always knows. Did either of them save before the trench? I didn't I check. Don't, I don't think so. Both probably know where each other's at. Know the importance of uh, every little time save. Well, uh, if it's a close tie, SDA. ideally it would be determined by the dot done in IRC, because they're on an SRL race right now, so... Yeah. Whatever the bot says is what it is, I guess. Yeah. If a bot determines it's a tie, then we'll uh, have to go to a tiebreaker. Alright, here we go. So, trench time. Both pretty much the same first fight. Yeah, the runaways are. Okay. Basically right, the, the second fight. <laughs> <laughs> a little nicety that could happen too is Cyan getting killed just because he's the worst of these three at running away. Uh, they both got the exact same RNG in the second fight. Yep, literally the same fight. <laughs> Check, it. Oh. check check that fight this is right ridiculous, there. Dude. That was same ATB, same frame, same everything. Which means that the next fights may also be the same, potentially. This is not common in races, by the way, too. I mean, the battle RNG in this game is frame based, so. No bonking, so we'll see what happens. Oh, and then uh, they went through that cave because it let them skip an encounter they would have otherwise gotten, but the second cave is a lot longer, so in that case, uh, it's faster to just run from the encounter than to go through the cave. Pretty right, sure. Preemptive, preemptive. Yep, oh. this is the same oh frame. Oh my god. The frame, dude. The frame. Same frame. This is awesome. <laughs> So, for anyone out there who doesn't know how this place works, all those battles are predetermined based on the frame that you enter the cutscene with Gao. So, they got the same fights, the same preemptives, same pincers, same back attacks. But the ATB can be a little bit different on the character starting uh, ATB. But other than that, it was literally the same RNG, meaning they're both even. And as you can see, Lin started that a little bit ahead, and he's still a little bit ahead. So they were identical for all intents and purposes. And you, you don't have to do anything in Nakia in order to continue the story, but uh, 
they go up and buy smoke bombs, which let you instantly run from any battle that's not inescapable, which they'll be using for the rest of the race. Yeah. And with about 13 minutes left of our tournament, this is this is what you want. Yeah, I mean, I mean it should pretty much all come down to the Kefka fight now, just because they're both yeah. past the trench, and uh, they'll, there's, there'll be little small bits of RNG with like how many preemptives they get in the in lock and terror scenarios, but those don't really matter that much in the grand scheme of things. Okay, they're yeah. synchronized now because Lin screwed up walking. Check it. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but he got a preemptive. So, Freno pulls ahead. Oh man, <laughs> what a lead. Gets then gets <laughs> so now they're synchronized again. <laughs> uh, what a video game indeed. Yeah. <laughs> I believe in this route that what that fight is the only chance to get poisoned in this cube too. Safe too, it's the only bear encounter. Well, yeah. What a game. What a race. So. <laughs> oh. <laughs> better inventory right now. Let's find out. I think they're both the same. Yeah. They're on the... <laughs> I think no, Lynn is ahead by a few frames. And, oh, uh, Lynch, So, obviously their NPC value is different for both players, so the river is going to be a little bit different. As we'll, we'll, we'll assume it'll be different. It was get... almost tragic on Lin's part. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So you can get two extra encounters. So you can get anywhere from zero to two extras. You get one automatic one, which they'll both get right here. But then the next two are optional. Uh, Lin gets the preemptive, though. Then the next two fights are optional. Yeah, the, uh, right there's, no, there's no variation on the thunder, thunder rod damage too, just because it's a fixed value based on your level and magic stat. But okay, so Lin got the perfect river. Oh, buddy! So Lin is pulling ahead now for sure. Let's see if Chrono gets out of here without the last one though. That'll help for sure. Oh! Uh, I could have sealed it right there. Yeah, it is, uh, yeah, because... Just because of stuff involving, well, it just variation in RNG, you'd have to reset the game again in order to manipulate this river, which it just, with how few encounters it has, isn't really worth it. The field play players. If you're rather player right now, what are you thinking going into Kefra at Nash? Like, do you... Does Lin's safety save before Kefka? No. You reckon? <laughs> yeah, go back. I mean, no. He's, no. He's, no. He's, yeah. Well, no. He's, he's, he's got enough time to without, like... Yeah, but if he dies, like, it's over. Yeah, if he dies, he's not going to be able to win, though. Yeah, but if Chrono... Like, it, it gives him a Unless chance in case Chrono again. Kirby well, dies as well, uh, so... Uh, if we look at it this perspective, Chrono's not going to save. He's probably not going to menu. Uh, he might go for the guard skip. Could be catastrophic. Yep. Um, so if Lin did decide to save, and then something crazy happened to Chrono where he died, then or if something crazy happened to Lin where he died, I should say, and then Chrono also died, 
Lin would win by default just because he would have a save file. But where both are kind of close, Lin's ahead by a little bit of a margin now because he had two fights he didn't have to fight at all. Um, and he knows Chrono's probably going to do all he can possibly do to win. He's going to be playing as dangerous as possible. Probably won't save. It's a tough call. Especially, I mean, if you play well, you're not going to lose to Kefka. You have to uh, be a bit sloppy with your, like, passing of turns and blitz inputs and stuff to have a uh, real shot at dying to Kefka. Yeah, or he could, or Kefka could uh, do some pretty trolley damage at the start. Yeah, that's still possible for Kefka to crit off the bat or do poison. Carry over a little bit. I mean, if I was Lin, I'd be trying to figure out exactly how far I was ahead of Chrono Kirby in the cutscene and figuring out whether saving would give me enough of a buffer just in case I had a slow fight. Then that way, like, you'd, you'd, you're guaranteed to win if uh, if your opponent died. Whereas if, if that if that buff is too small, then I wouldn't bother saving. Yeah. And obviously, Krona is going to be going for the uh, for anything he can. Yeah, that's the next good question. If both players die at Kefka, well, uh, I'm not sure where they saved last. Probably either of them. At, probably at the river, actually, just because I don't think I saw either <laughs> of them save before uh, Cave of Figaro too. Yeah, so they might go back to the river, and <laughs> yeah. since they're both at the river, <laughs> they might just keep going. <laughs> we'll suddenly uh, have a uh, grand finals where the victor is like two and a half hours. <laughs> that was like the perfect finals to me. Nice. I actually think Lin might have saved somewhere after that. I'm not sure where, though. I think I remember him saving. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I didn't see either save before the Serpent Trench. I don't think the other... They, yeah, they didn't save before the cave, so yeah, maybe it was the river. Yeah, we got General Kutan. Yeah, Celis is kind of a mogul right now, sorry. That's a side effect of skipping the cutscenes where you name her in South Figaro using the guard clip glitch. Amazing. Especially coming off the double Gru, just very afraid it would just stay like that the rest of the time. But this is it, man. This is it. I think you gotta highlight the the trench. That was too dumb. That was too <laughs> ridiculous. <laughs> I'll be um, highlighting and YouTube exporting the whole uh, semi-finals and finals, but yeah, that might be worth a uh, um, video. Yeah, it's been awesome. Uh, 
All right, boys. This is this, this is, is it, it right here. Yeah, this is indeed it. If ever it's oh. time. Yeah, they're, put, they're, put, they're putting their whole battle party for fighting Kafka in the second group just because it starts closer to Kafka and gives them a bit more time to get past the rider. Assuming they don't go for the clip. <laughs> well, Crone, I will. At this point, Lin is far ahead enough that even with the clip and a skip menu, you'll still probably be ahead. So it comes down to the fight itself as well. Yeah, the clip is basically just that. They're gonna. It, if Chrono goes for it, he's gonna try to uh, clip through one of the brown soldiers. Skip having to wait for them. But it, yeah, it saves like eight seconds, and if he fails it, he, he's generally going to have to fight two of them before he can get to Kafka, so it's a. Uh, it looks like he will skip the menu. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Boom. Boom, boom. Boom. Ugh, he screwed up, I think. No, maybe not. Oh, he did it a different way. Okay. Never mind. Oh, goodness gracious. Should be totally fine, though. <laughs> nice. Impressive. So that was a variation of uh, the clip where you do it a little bit slower but a little bit safer. By hit confirming, I guess, seeing where the guard is. You can use the same thing to skip mini bosses in Kafka's Tower too, which is a much bigger payoff and also much easier to do. You did it, boys. Oh, despite all of that, Lin still wins because he was just that much farther ahead. Thanks to the second river, but man, what yeah, a race. Yeah, that second river is really what did it. Yeah. Oh my god, what a what race. What a race and what a tournament, wow. too. Super GG to Lin, my boy. That's mental. Wow. I need an Australian saying to describe what this is. Jongers? Is that an Australian saying? Jongers? I don't know. Jonkers. No, I'm not sure. Bonkers. Uh, this is nuts. Bully dingoes? Or... Bully dingoes? I'm, I'm gonna go with jongers. <laughs> That's more jongers can say. work, I guess. Yeah, that was crazy. Really close, really good. What were the final times? Uh, looks like Lin got a 126.17 quarter of their splits. I don't have IRC open for that channel. So Lin was uh, 126.18, Chrono was 126.36. That's pretty good. <laughs> That's insane. That was Jongers. Definitely Jongers. Definitely Jongers. Textbook invite... definition of Jongers. Textbook Jongers. <laughs> so, were, were we going to invite Lin on to do a uh, post finals interview or anything before we find a raid target? Absolutely. Awesome. Interview both if, uh, if I want to stick around. Just ask them in uh, Skype. Keen to jump in. Jongus is going to be a totally made up word. 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna Google it right now. Hello. Good luck understanding it. Hello. Hey. Eh. Reservations, sir. That was a that was an interesting race. Yeah, you uh, had a lot of bad luck in that one. Uh, sadly. I mean, I it's Dutch. At least, at least I showed what I was capable of. <laughs> yeah, the skip at the end is pretty awesome. I practiced that for like half an hour. I used a slightly different setup that's a bit easier, but. Yeah, yeah, that's um, that's, that's that's to do it that way. Tasway is really difficult. Yeah, my way is a, my way is a bit easier because you don't have to hit us. You have a larger window to work with. So basically, you just have the two small windows, and it's relatively easy if you practice it a bit. Right. I don't know. Like, I mean, from the beginning, well, could you really messed with me? I think I probably could have won a two round if I had played a little bit better, but still. The thing is that my Mock Colts was perfect. I got like a 950 segment between Magic nice. Armor and Mock Colts. Nice. So, so like if you removed the Welk, the Welk segment, like if it was a normal segment, I would have been at sub three Marcus. Did you see the the trench or uh, Lynn trench? I wasn't watching the stream. Oh, uh, no, I got... you you both hit the same frame for the Serpent Trench, I meaning you got the literally the exact same encounters. Wow. Down to the frame. <laughs> so I recommend watching well. that that part just to see how ridiculous that was. Yeah, I think it, pretty I think... much total sync up until the second river, and then we both got. I don't know. Like I think had I gotten one less encounter, I might have won. But yeah, it's definitely possible. It would have been really close. But yeah, if you got either one or none, you would have won. Oh well, that's that's FF six. It's pretty random. Yep. Especially once you get below 27, that's when it, it's really just mostly good RNG to get under a target, like 26, basically. But I mean, like, the biggest time losses for me were where I lost a minute, and Phantom Train also lost a minute, so... Lin's just having trouble with his, uh, with mumble sound. Hello? Okay, I can hear you guys now. All right, Hello. GG. Congratulations. Welcome, welcome. Congrats, sir. Thank you. I'm not entirely sure I deserve this, but, uh, you know, I'll take it. You don't get what you deserve, you get what the game gives you. That's how it is. With agree, me. agree. <laughs> Wise words. I mean, you did get all the bad major RNG, but from what I saw, like, a lot of my random encounters were worse than yours. Like, I got a lot of extra back attacks and shit along the way. I got so like I a pretty bad there. pincer. Yeah, you got the one. I, the bad thing, pincer. the thing is that I, I played, I got good RNG except like a couple of spots where Rini just got wrecked, like the river, Phantom Train, and Walk. I just got like yeah, lost in minutes. Much. And then I don't know. I, I, I was like at that point, it was basically just either try the clip, maybe win, or do nothing. So I just went for it. Yeah, it was pretty close to the end with the clip and everything. Yeah, skipping the menu, doing the clip, it wasn't quite enough. Yeah. But hey, even I mean, like skipping that menu means you have to do an extra turn into the fight sometimes, so Yeah, it's thinking on a crit with the uh, Edgar or Scissors with Gal. I think I got scissors, so it was fine. You get enough scissors you get the same amount of turns, but otherwise you can be in danger zone. Yeah, at that point. And I don't think we made any big mistakes at the thing, it was just RNG. But I mean, I was interested, like, after Figaro, I was hearing people say that it was, like, 11 seconds difference. Like, did you lose time in Nerf? As I uh, discovered, so I literally happened. cannot play the first 10, first 10 minutes of the game. Um, yeah, it seems that way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, like, what happened was, after Welk, uh, the first fight in, in the cave with Terra alone, he used the fight command by accident. Then the second fight, he got a pincer attack. But after that, you were, like, 15 seconds apart. No, then the third fight, I got a back attack, too. Oh yeah, that's that's not a big deal. But... Actually, actually, what happened is um, I used fire single target. That's why I screwed it up. And I tried to fight, and it wasn't enough to kill the uh, repo man. Right. I, I, so did we actually play hit the exact same frame when you're turning the trench? Is that? Yeah, it's literally the same frame. Exactly. Same runaway timings, same fights, same preemptives, same everything. Oh. 
That's that's pretty good. That was it's, pretty entertaining. It's insane because uh, the thing is that we we weren't really like in sync very much. We were sort of like passing in each other throughout the run. Yeah, a lot of leapfrogging going on. Like I mean, my Mount Colts was insane. Like I'm never gonna get something like that again. It was like, no bane touches at all. I only had to heal like once at the end, and I got I tons lost. of bane touches. I lost 30 seconds in cults because I got, yeah. had to heal twice and got poisoned once. I saved 42 seconds and had like a 950 second after magic took her. So like minus woke shenanigans, it would have been a sub 31. Yeah. Like I was, I was three seconds ahead of PB at like uh, at the end of the camp, and it was a minute behind at Phantom Train. I Stephanie. wound up like 35 seconds behind my PB at the end, but. But you got the chocolates. It was a fun journey. You guys have Definitely done good. Point. And it's only gonna get more NG heavy from here because FF1 is, is like this theme but worse. FF1 is completely random. Which version of FF1? PSP. FF1 PSP, once you get to the higher levels of play, is just in final level for the entire game. Because it was like, yeah, okay. it's pretty much frame based. So tell us about the um, the tournament that you've got going, uh, Chrono. Yeah, so uh, me and some of the other FF1 runners sort of had the idea back when the FF6 tournament started. So we basically decided to get it together. There's already like 20 or so runners for FF1 PSP. And so what's convenient okay. about that game is that thanks to a few like, equipment glitches that uh, radically changed the way the games run compared to other versions, the full game is actually only an hour and a half. Well, I mean, more so like an hour 45 on an average run, but it's still it's still something that can be done within a reasonable amount of time, and it was... In fact, we do usually hold weekly races for a while. So... Right. Yeah, that's gonna yeah, be... Yeah, sub 2 is pretty... pretty short. Yeah, short enough, for, especially for a four game run. Like, well, I how, long is the, um, how long is the, the tournament race that will be, uh, be going? Well, the tournament race is the full game run, so it's about oh, it's an hour game. Okay, cool. Yep. Hour forty-five average. Maybe uh, maybe some forty. There, when's the when's that tournament kicking off? Uh, let's see. Kicking off. I think submissions are till the end of next week. Feel free yeah. to drop a link in chat awesome. if anybody wants more information on that. Absolutely. So yeah, submissions until the end of next week, and then group stages and stuff will release the week after that. So beginning of February, that's when the official training starts. And then it lasts all the way until April. Us. More tourney. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Keep the uh, keep the FF tourneys going. I want to see FF5 at some point. <laughs> I'd like to run FF5. We may need a little bit of a break after this, so um, we'll come back to it in a in a couple of months and reevaluate. Either FF5 or uh, Mystic Quest is gaining some gaining some traction as well. <laughs> <laughs> Could be interesting. Oh, man. The races of that are pretty pretty interesting. Yeah. Definitely. I mean, there's tons of options. I, I, I remember there being an FF7 Midgarders. There was still like a weekly thing. So that could also yeah, be a people possibility. Yeah, people are interested in that one as well, yeah. Even like FF12 to Belias, I think, would, would gain some interest. So how do you I... feel, Lin? If you still said it better myself. <laughs> Any idea what's next for you in your stream, Lynn? Are you still working on that? I'd have lost him off the call, but, uh... Maybe. 
Anyway, we can probably just start wrapping this up, too. I guess, does anybody have any uh, closing thoughts before we uh, set us up a raid? Well, I just want to thank everyone for um, either participating, watching. Let's try um... this again. Hey, Lynn, there we are. Down. Can you hear us? Can you hear me now? I can. How do you feel, sir, about winning the tournament? Are you guys For talking? Is it just you guys be quiet? Uh, maybe if I type the questions, because we can hear you. Okay. Okay, so Fox Last Row is doing well. I guess I'm going to. Uh, I, I'm probably going to have to learn either Sketch or No Sketch now. Probably I've learned a bit of Sketch already. I'm probably going to start with that. And let's we'll see how that goes. I'm not sure which I'll, if I, which I'd actually like more, but if I like. Which I want to like more, I'm probably actually going to try to do runs of. You know, fairly consistently, because this game has been pretty fun. Can you hear us then? But that'll probably do occupy time for a while. Yep. So for the for the time being, you're just sticking with FF6. Well, I personally recommend Sketch because uh, there's a good two minutes to save on it, probably. You can sub forty, dude. Yeah. This uh, I mean, this tournament was fun. I had a good time. Um, I got a lot further than I expected to. Definitely progressed as well. I certainly got helped along the way a little bit with some. Didn't get any really horrible RNG anywhere, but uh, I definitely, I, I, I definitely improved over the course of the tournament. I'm mean, I can just tell looking at my times and stuff, and how I played in the beginning. But I saw some of your mewing. That's been a lot of fun. Uh, you got thanks for putting it together. You guys did a lot of work too. Thanks, man. So I think Lincoln, yeah, I can't uh, hear you guys. Can hear us. I think the entire mod crew deserves a round of applause for... Because, I mean, this organization was pretty tight. Like, there wasn't any slacking at all. Like, times were updated very, very quickly. Always helpful with stuff. Definitely... Definitely aided by them. Thanks. The yeah, ad admin team uh, really complimented each other a lot. Like, whenever one of us uh, was busy or couldn't uh, couldn't do things everyone else stepped up really well um for those that don't know we had um it was myself paul exel Niram, um my goose catastrophic four fred coughlin and bick and lcc as well um we all we all did our part so um i just wanted to thank thank you guys you guys are awesome and uh can't wait to organize more tournaments of things with you guys um i've uh I've uh, said all the things I need to say, so does anyone else need to to say things? Or shall we find a raid target? It's time to raid. Okay. Time to raid. Oh.